I'll come around that side all. I mean Myrtle. So you probably have seen the Myrtle. So you probably have seen the Myrtle, right? So yeah, Myrtle. Yeah. You gather it. So generally, you just pop that out, right? So that pops out. Oh, okay. And then I just take those, the nuts, store them for a year, let them dry out, and then after that, I dry roast them in a dry roast them in a, um, a, a cast iron skillet. Wow. So that's basically I just gather them. You pop that out, cool dry place, and uh, <laughs> then they're lightly roasted. That's smoked salmon. Why do you wait for a year? You're supposed to let them dry out for a long enough time. Wow. It, it does, it is, it does something to kind of cure them. Okay. So that's what they are. Um, there's a fine line between not roasting them enough where they're kind of still bitter and have a strong aftertaste to where you overcook them too much and they're too much carbony. So anyways, that's just... Those ones I have roasted there, I gathered a year or two back. They dried out. I just roasted them tonight. And here's fresh ones just to show you an example of what they look like. Huckleberries. Love them. Wow. <laughs> and what kind of mushrooms are those? Those are um, chanterelles. They're huge. Where did you get such big chanterelles? Oh, these are kind of medium sized ones. Really? Yeah, I was up a little bit higher about in the Marble Mountain Wilderness a week okay. ago. And okay. there was ones that were like. Thank you. Really? They were, they were huge. Really? Wow.